everyone. My name is Josie. I am a high school senior. I am with the Albert Tech program and I'm going to teach you how to make a scratch game, grow a plant. So this is what your completed projects will look like by the end of this tutorial. You'll be able to drag the seed into the dirt and you'll be able to click on these two sprites to make it grow. As you can see, there's a counter up here in the top left corner and this will indicate how many points you have. And depending on how many points you have, the more the plant will grow over time. So you can see here my plant is fully grown out after 15 points, but that, that's just what I set it to. But you can make it however you like. So let's get started. First, you'll want to go to this link here, scratch.mit.edu. You can take a few seconds to pause the video if you need to type this in. Um, after that, we're going to go ahead and click on the Create tab, and we're going to create a new project. Now, um, we're just going to close that. As you can see here, there is this sprite of a little cat. However, we're not going to be using this, so you can just press the little delete bin near its head to just get rid of it. So after you do that, you'll want to add a backdrop. So you'll want to go all the way into the bottom right corner and press choose a backdrop. And we are going to click on the magnifying glass so we can pick from any of these backdrops here. Um, you can pick any backdrop that you feel fit. You can pick anything that has grass. You could pick this. I'm going to go with forest because I like how it looks. I think it's, I just think there's a lot of plants. It looks very pretty. After that, we're going to go ahead and make the sprites. So we're gonna wanna click on this little cat next to the backdrop button. And we are going to press on the paint icon because we will want to make these ourselves. So this is all dependent on you. Um, we can just make them however you want them. Let's just say that's our dirt for now. It looks a little silly, but that's fine. But however, we are not going to be making separate sprites for the different stages of the flower. We are going to make them costumes. So after you make our dirt sprite, we're actually going to make them into separate costumes. Um, costumes here are like different, we're going to make them the different phases of the plants. Um, we're not going to make them separate sprites because it would just be much more difficult. So to go ahead and make a separate costume, we're going to right click on this top left corner and we're going to press duplicate and it's going to make another costume. So what we can do here, we can just make this size bigger. This is just the erase tool. We can go ahead and erase this dirt that we made because we're not going to need it. And here you, you can go ahead and design how you want the second phase of your plant to be. So if you wanna go ahead and use the same dirt, that's fine. Um, we are going to make a small plant just like this, nothing too big. That's our plant. And after that, you can go ahead and duplicate that to make the third phase of your plant. If you just wanna make it a little bigger like that, that's fine. And after that, you can duplicate that once more um, and just make a flower. I'm going to make mine purple and yellow, but you can make this however, whichever color you'd like. So after you make the rest of your flower costumes, you'll wanna go ahead and make a separate sprite for the seed and you can name them however you want. This is just to distinguish them, to tell them apart. And for the seed, we can just make a tiny little brown blob right here because we're not going to use the seed at all. Just 
one look at it and it's not going to be used anymore. And after that, we are going to add another sprite using the same paint tool if we hover over the cat. And we're going to make a watering can. You can make this any color you'd like. You can make it look however you'd like. I am just going with what I like. So we'll just make this like this, a little spout. Like that. We can change this up a little. I don't like this. Like that. And then after that, you can just color it in using the fill tool. Like that. You can even add like little decorations on it. If you want to put like a little smiley face on there or something, you can do that. After that, we're going to go ahead and make another sprite for the flower food. And this can look however you'd like. It can be a little baggy. It can be a little pile of dust. Flower food is usually a pile of dust. I'm just going to make a little bag right here, color it in, and I'm going to, we can also use these shape tools to make it easier. I'm going to put this circle here, just for decoration, make it flower here. like that. And after that, all your sprites should be finished.